In this clip, we'll tell you how to watch an eclipse of the sun safely without blinding yourself. Sunlight damages your eyes. If you want to look directly at the sun during an eclipse, you must protect your eyes with a very strong filter, such as eclipse viewers. The filter in these viewers blocks 99.999% of the light and at least 97% of the heat. Ordinary sunglasses are not good enough for this. Smoked glass and modern x-ray or photographic film are not good enough either. Proper solar filters are often made from aluminium coated plastic and so are some chip and sweet wrappers, so could we use these? Unfortunately most of them are too thin so they don't block enough light and heat or they have too much print on them so you don't get a clear view, but some are okay for a quick look. In South Africa, some brands of tea bag wrapper foil are okay if you look through two layers. Remember, you only have one pair of eyes. If the light looks too bright, it is damaging your eyes. Rather than looking directly at the sun, look indirectly at the projected sun. Most trees have gaps between their leaves that project images of the sun onto the ground. Look for circles of light in the shade under the tree. Put a piece of paper on the ground to see them better. The circles are images of the sun. That's why they're circles. During an eclipse, they turn into eclipsed suns. This is perfectly safe to look at and to photograph. It's called pinhole projection, if you want to find out more. You can make your own pinhole in a sheet of paper with a sharp pencil. Project onto the sheet on the ground. This doesn't give the nice big images you see under trees, but if you write your name in pinholes, you can take some interesting photos. Writing something on the paper on the ground helps the camera to focus. Look at the small spots of light in this photo. You can see they're all tiny eclipsed suns, spelling out the town name.